How do we get our nav type from moderate in Modern Warfare 3 to open by port forwarding? Well, the answer is super simple. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to do exactly that. In the description down below, you'll find some text that looks like this, covering both PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. We're looking for PC in my case, as that's where I'm playing. These ports simply need to be opened on our computer and forwarded to us from our router. Don't worry, it sounds a bit complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. To make life a lot easier, instead of manually adding these to our window, Windows Firewall, I've created these very simple PowerShell commands, which you'll find down below. Simply hit start, type in PowerShell, and run Windows PowerShell as admin. Otherwise, on Windows 11, you can use Terminal, run this as admin, then make sure that it says PowerShell. Otherwise, from the drop down, choose PowerShell. Anyways, paste this bit of code in here and hit enter a few times in order for this to run properly. And just like that, we've now allowed Modern Warfare 3 both in and out of our PC for both UDP and TCP. We've technically opened all of these ports to our network. Now, what we have to do is port forward these from our router to our computer. Inside of the same window, type in ipconfig and hit enter. Upon doing so, we'll see all the information about network devices on our PC. What we're looking for is the way that we're connected to the internet, in my case, Ethernet. My IPv4 address is this here. Simply make note of whatever yours is for Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or however you're going to play this on the internet. For me, it's 192.168.1.50. With this bit of information in mind, as well as our ports, all we need to do is log into our router, which we're connected to, that connects us to the internet. Obviously, this can be a little bit difficult. Just make sure to look up your specific router and how to do it. You'll pretty much only really need your admin password for the router in order to add these options. As there are so many different kinds of routers, I've created a very generic example here to show you exactly how it works. All we'll do is, first of all, enter some ports. You may only be able to enter one of these at a time. Some of them may allow ranges, etc. It really depends on what your router has. Also, on some routers, you'll need to enter it not only once for the external port, but also the internal port as well. And if it offers you a range, you'll need to enter both of the numbers in here, whether it's a range or whether it's not a range of ports. Then TCP and 1.50 was mine in my case. I don't need to fill in the whole thing, clicking add new, we've now opened this port to the internet. Perfect. As 3074 is used both for TCP and UDP, we'll do it for both of them here. So 3074, UDP, 50, and add. Now we simply need to run through the rest of these for both TCP and UDP. So TCP, UDP, followed by the ranges. 27000, so 27000, 2, 27036. As these numbers are close enough together, you can choose both TCP and UDP if you have a combined option, otherwise you can enter these separately. Add. Finally, 36, 37 for just TCP, add. Now we've successfully port forwarded to the internet. Perfect. All we need to do now is restart our game and assuming everything worked fine, we should now have an open NAT. Keep in mind, if you're using a third party firewall, such as an antivirus firewall, you'll need to go through extra steps in order to allow it through that as the Windows firewall rule may not carry over to that specific program. Also, on top of this, if you have multiple routers between you and the internet, as in you connect via Wi-Fi to a router, that goes to another one, and then to the fiber box, you'll need to port forward from each device to the next device on the chain, all the way until your PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. If you need more help with port forwarding or multi-router port forwarding, you'll find guides linked in the description down below. When you make it back to the main menu, head into Options, followed by Account and Network, then Network Info, and you should see that you're now NAT type open. Super simple. It's a little bit laborious, but port forwarding is easy enough. If you want the easy way out, something you can look into enabling on your router is something called UPnP. It'll automatically port forward these ports to your system and console. You can enable this, though usually it's considered not the best practice, as it can open some security vulnerabilities, holes, etc. If you know how to port forward, do that instead, otherwise UPnP is an option. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!